We are live. Okay, so it'll just be like, hey, everybody, welcome to Keys of the Jet. I am Red. And Rhino. Bad motherfuckers. Bad motherfuckers. And today we're, let's see, what episode is this? Episode four, right? Episode four. Four. Episode four. Lucky super, number four. Super excited to be here on episode four. We got a four lot times, to talk about. Four times the charm. To talk about. Kind of tired this morning, but we're we're getting through it. Get through Come it. over and have Ooh. a beer. Oh man, I want to. I want to have like fifteen of them. I maybe got, twenty. Like, I got sixty. Like I, maybe I twenty-one. Coffee. I have coffee, but I got like whiskey in there. You know, it's a good good wake up. Lucky. That's Irish, I, not German. I just had some pre-workout yeah. this morning. That's all I had was some pre-workout this morning. You should have uh, pre-workout in the coffee. Was that, that one time got halfway to work before I forgot my car? I don't have any coffee. <laughs> was that before or after you were lowering the lotion down in the pit? Um, that was <laughs> before because you got to take it thirty minutes before. Right? Oh, okay. So you Did... take it thirty minutes before, and then then you lower the lotion. Then when it hits the thirty minutes, that's when you rub one out or three. Did you at that's least when the tingles give... start? That's when all the tingles start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when all that nice and kicks in. Mm-hmm. Did you at least give the guy down in your pit uh, some auto trader? Yes, he was hot. And a cycle trader because I like motorcycles, so he had cycle trader too. Looking, oh, at, old, looking at old choppers and whatnot. I don't feel bad anymore then. Yeah, if you like cars, you wouldn't get wet on the way to work today. So. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Just all right. Call your boyfriend. Have him ride Spider, and they'll keep you keep you warm and dry. Listen, I know you like no. riding Spider. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You no. haven't lived till you rode Spider. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, all right, fuckers. What are we talking about today? So I think we're epic talking about pranks. Yeah, yeah. Epic pranks. Do they the have to be line? epic? Do they have to be epic, or can they just be like standard pranks? No, they just be alright. Yeah, they could just be all right. Pranks, and we'll talk about some TDY stories. And uh, someone mentioned talking about the support section, but that's not going to fucking happen. So, nope. what does support even do? Nothing. Not support. Make they us like find s- fucking rags at two o'clock in the morning when we're trying to leave. Scan shit in. Yep. Oh. Hey, the the tip of this uh, screwdriver is uh, bent. Uh, I know you guys have been working all night, but your toolbox is a little dirty. Can you clean it. Hey, uh, hey, look, I need you to get, I need you guys to, uh, there's fod in the bottom of here and this button is missing. The, and the, the... <laughs> this, this headset, this headset doesn't have any RTV on it, but I know that I'm in charge of this stuff, but I need you to put RTV on it, even though I'm supposed to be doing the inspection of those every week or so. You guys hurry up. We're trying to go to lunch. The, the best one is when you go in and they're watching a movie on their phone. And then they look at you like, are you fucking serious? The best ones when you walk in at like 1.30 in the morning and they're all ass the fuck out sleeping. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, yeah. Nobody cares about can't, support. No. Or you can't find them. You can't find them. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we don't care about support, but. You can't fly without you. supply. But to the people who were support. <laughs> and Disgusting. Who do, <laughs> and who do listen to our show. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestions. And so fuck we can you make too. fun of you. And so we can make fun of you. Thank you. All right. And uh, also, Although I do miss giving that guy shit on a daily basis. Oh, so you know him? Oh, yeah. I worked How did he for talk? a while at Mountain Home. Did um, he talk um, like this, bro? Or no, did he, he talk? was no, not. Nobody touched no, like, he was just like Crush. Yeah. Yeah. You, you forever ruined that guy's reputation, whoever yeah. that was. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go to no. Canada now, I'm going to be looking for some. Dude, turtle. Some turtle, some fucking turtle. I'm gonna try, yeah, I'm gonna try and take that Indians North Jello Atlantic shots current and titties. I gotta try to find that North Atlantic current to take all the way to the next province, bro. <laughs> We're all the way to the next province, dude. That one's gonna be a good one. Yeah, that one Uh-oh. is a good one, Good-bye. and you should have listened to it already because now you're listening to the fourth episode. Last episode was a banger. That's good. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Bangers. All right, so, uh, Rhino, if you want to start us off with some pranks and start us off with something awesome that some we can pranks. make fun of. 
I mean, right. it's probably right, going to be trash it. holler inspired. It is. So it, has to, it has to be. Yeah, it definitely does. This one time we swapped this guy's chicken sandwich out for a cheeseburger. And this one time the trash can fell out. Then we had to scoop the trash back up in the trash can and put it back into the jet. Well, I we, mean, we did have a dude. Righteous. We did have a dude drop his flashlight in the toilet. Was it a flashlight or a flashlight? No. Well, I mean, either I way, you know, I dropped holds, my phone off my cover off the toilet. Getting up from taking a shit one time. I sucked. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. It stayed there. And fucking course services never empties it right away. So it's just like a cesspool. And he just looked at us like, well, I guess that's gone. No, dude, you got to go get some gloves. <laughs> stick your hand in. And go get it. Go get your fucking PPE and get that shit out, bitch. Yes. All right. Dang, so, like, uh, let's see. Pranks. Wait, um, wait. Question. Question. Before we move on to that. Have you ever found any fleshlights inside of your trash hauler? And I how many did one you, on my belt. How many did you have stashed? A fleshlight? Yeah. So, we had the old mag lights, right? The big ones. And I would just put it no, inside. No, I'm talking about a fleshlight. The... I'm not talking Listen about to a me. flashlight. Listen to me. I would put it inside of my flashlight. Oh. Carry it on my belt. That the flashlight was I, too big? Yeah, that way if I ever needed it, I could just pull the mag light out. And it was already basically, you know, pre-warmed up. Because oh. the, the flashlight gets hot, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. yeah. I use mine as a hammer holder. I usually just put mine good in, in like a microwave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I put mine in the microwave or like run it above the exhaust of a Dash 60 real quick just to get it warmed up. Nice. Microwave, a little cool whip. Yeah. Like, good, good. Yeah. yeah. No, petrolatum, dude. All day. Yeah. Ooh, petrolatum, yeah. yeah. I usually just use the glove. <laughs> the do, pee-pee. Do you, you know what's like you really surprising? Speaking of pet or like, you know, petrolatum, nobody knows what pet is anymore. Like taking a little bit of like, you know, petroleum jelly with it. some en- engine oil and mix it in there. I don't use pet no more. Bro. It's not a it's not a thing. I remember this, this, there new was age, a, this new age of mechanics, dude, really baffles me. Yo, there was a, a time when I was supposed to PCS to Aviano, and, and these motherfuckers got me, like, good, like, real good. It took two shifts to take me down, right? They were zip-tying me and taping me to a chair, and I was fucking breaking out. Snap, 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 snap. Ha! Can't get me, bitch. Then somebody brought in a uh, cargo strap and cargo strapped me to the chair. Wheeled me out to the flight line, threw a glob, a ginormous glob of pet in my hair. That shit sucked. Thanks. I know, because it's still in your fucking hair. Yes, it is. The worst one. We had a dude leaving during a tiger meet in Mountain Home. So we strapped him to a chair, fucked him up with all the stuff in the fridge, rolled him down. So it had our squadron, the other C-model squadron, the 16 squadron. There was, like, dudes from Luke. That's There's the like worst, dude. Eight squadrons out there. Like the Germans, the, the Dutch were out there. It was fucking ridiculous. Oh, it was Red Flag, so, right? No, it was a Tiger Meat. Oh. Uh, so we're doing, we fuck them up. We roll them down the next squadron, you know, and right on there. Like 390 is sucks. So they fuck them up. They roll them down to the 16s. 16s fuck them up. Then the Dutch fuck them up. The Germans strung them up from a fucking crane and were throwing oh, like. Shit at him from the throwing crane. shit at him. Yeah, it That's was, amazing. Like, fucked, yeah, and, up. and we have these tomatoes that are yeah. sitting here. We will throw it at you. I mean, I Germans, the Germans are, got them drunk as fuck. So Germans are pretty good at torture. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as, yeah, as we've seen in history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, wasn't blonde. They've had a rough we had, past. We had this uh, this guy leaving, and we got him with a cargo strap, and then they fucking cut his boots off. Uh, with some dykes, and then spray painted his feet the color of the squadron. And so it was gold. So spray painted his feet fucking gold, dude. And I don't know how long it took to come off, but it was it was crazy. And then there was another guy that uh, we gave him the silver bullet. You put the fucking soda bottle on his head, and then we we taped yeah. him to a chair and fucked with him, and then rolled him out to the flight line. And then you see the next squadron come over and then just take him into the fucking their hanger and then next thing you know he comes out with a number like a full number 10 can of uh jalapenos in his fucking lap dude Oof. yeah there's a lot more of that shit nope but uh 
You got a good keys of the jet one. So am I, am I gonna start with my pranks? Like we're no. Doing? no. Oh yeah, I mean, I I guess we're kind of. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're kind of. So, we're gonna do the keys of the jet there. one because it's it's keys of the jet. So we're bound home. Night shift. Sorry, Rhino. We got a new guy. Kind of a new. I'm, log- I'm logging off. So <laughs> fuck you guys. Uh, have your dad. Have your dad call in so he can bullshit with us. <laughs> oh, that would be uh, rad, dude. That would be a good episode. It would. We're just gonna get random ass people to just have your pops in. call in. We got a security guard from from the front gate or something. From fucking Seven Eleven. So it's like a security guard from Seven Eleven. Just call yeah. in. Just be like, yeah, just hey. random. Just random. <laughs> so, keys to the jet. Swing shift. It's like probably six, seven o'clock. Uh. We tell the the kid because we're waiting to run. Is that PM? PM. PM. So it's 1900. Yeah, whatever. For uh, six or seven for us dumb folk. Um, For us janitors. We have them go. You know, we tell them, hey, man, go up to to support. Get the keys to the jet. The one time support's actually been useful. Support tells them, oh, no, we don't have it. You know, I think they're in supply. They send them over to supply. Oh, no, we don't have it. I think the chief has it. So he goes to the chief's office. The chief's not there. So he talks to the flight chief. The flight chief's getting out. And uh, the flight chief's like, oh, no, you got to go talk to the first shirt. Oh, shit. Goes up, goes up to, like, the command building. Go talk to the first shirt. First shirt's not in. The commander sees him, like, walking through the hallway. Stops him. He's like, hey, what are we doing? Commander's, fuck, he's super cool dude. Um, Oh, you know, he tells him, I'm here. You know, we're running the jet. I need to get you know, the keys so so we could run. He said the commander looked at him like he was fucking crazy and goes, oh, yeah, I have them on my desk. So he gave the kid the keys to his car. And he's like, hey, make sure you tell the run guy to uh, bring him back whenever he's done. So here comes a stupid kid running down the fucking flight line. And uh, our run guy's standing, like, right out front of the jet. And he's like, hey, I got the keys, and tosses them to him. The run guy turns ghost fucking white, catches the keys, and goes, where did you get these? Oh, I got it from the commander. He said to uh, just bring him back whenever you're done and let him know how the run went. Fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo. Did you guys get yelled at for that, time. or did or did he laugh? So the commander laughed. Uh, so we all had to go up there. Um, it was the run guy, me, and then our fire guard. And uh, we, we go up there with him, and he starts dying laughing. But what the hell filter is that? Um. I don't know. I just picked a random one. It looks good, though, right? He was fucking dying. He's like, it's the first time I've ever had the keys to the jet come up to me. And he's like, I just wanted to fuck with you guys a little bit. Hell we're yeah. Fucked. We're sweating bullets. Oh, so you had a cool, you had a cool commander. He was cool. He was cool. He was the second coolest commander. Somebody else, I think, I think like nowadays, if that were to happen, you would get into the whole like, you're hazing. You're hazing people. And, uh, you know, because maintainers yeah, now are, are like, and I'm not trying to piss anybody off, but I, I am. Pussies. Yeah. Bitches. It's the kinder, gentler new Air Force. You're right. And I'm we sorry. Care I, about I, feelings. Should be, I should be more cognizant of that. Mm-hmm. You're right. Very Fuck sorry. That. Very sorry. Very Y'all a bunch sorry. of bitches. All right, Rhino, tell your story. <laughs> yeah, I stole it from you. you. Yeah, what you got? Uh, right, trash so holler. Continue. I got two, two stories with one dude. This is two when parts. we were in Bagram. Uh, so if anybody from that trip out in 2013 uh, remembers Monet, oh, it's a good one. Uh, oh, so the, fir- the first one we got him with, uh, we had him do the echo checks. So we had him. So intakes on C-130s, right? They're not that big. So he no, had, he got he got, a B, he got a B5 stand, and he jacked it all the way up, sat on the edge of the railing, and just proceeded to scream at high pitches into the mm-hmm. intake. Wow. While we had another guy on the back with like a B4 stand with a multimeter just beeping it, touching it to different angles. So he'd be like, no, no, that's too high. Can you go a little bit lower? And he'd, he'd just be like, Whoa. beep, no, no, that's too low now. How, how long did this How long did this last? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes of... Yeah. Uh, 30 minutes any- until like people started like driving out there to the spot. And yeah. everybody was like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, oh, we're just checking the uh, the echo intake, making sure that it doesn't pass through. Yeah. It, that's that was rad. Where, that was where it all started. So then 
I got one of the flight engineers to get on on this. And I was like, hey, when you come back from your mission, I need you to go on a separate blank set of A781As. And I need you to write a, a fake write-up that the flight deck Freon is low because the AC wasn't cold enough. And he's like, I got you. Writes a red X, puts it in there, flight deck Freon low, AC sucked the whole flight, whatever. So new kid, very gung-ho, gets out, gets the forms. And he's like, oh, what does that mean? I've never seen that before. I've never seen this write-up, dude. Where, I was like, where do I go? Where, yeah, I was like, I was like dude, you where's never, the FI? What's in there? I, I can't find it. Where? You've never serviced the flight deck free on? He's like, no, I have no idea what to do. I was like, all right, get the get the TOs out and start doing some research. I'm going to go get all the equipment. So we go to our hangar, go start uh, going to support. And one of the guys is like, hey, you know, uh, we could probably call the EC 130s. They might have something we can get them in on. It's so a call down there. And the EC guy's like, Freon. Yeah, we got like bottles of that. And I was like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, we, we use Freon to cool the computer systems in the back. And he's like, I'll do you one better. We can grab an old Freon bottle and we fill them with compressed air when we ship them back. That way they don't basically get crushed and stuff. And he's like, I'll fill it full of compressed air, put a little, the little valve on it so you can spray it and you can come down and sign a hand receipt. We'll make it all legit. And I was like, dude, you just saved my day. Hell yeah. Had uh, Monet go in. He got like a lock, lock suit and everything. So he's got the whole bunny suit and everything. We drive down to the Suits EC 130s. Boots, man. Yes. That's. The guy's like, oh, you here for the flight deck free on bottle? And he's like, yeah, you, yeah, dude, I can't find that anywhere. And he's like, oh, that's like one of the, those rarely go out, man. Like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to service this. And I'm like, dude, yes. Put it on your ECR. The EC 130 guys, whoever you were from DM out there at Bagram in 2013, you guys are my heroes. Oh, Arizona. Dude signs the uh, hand receipt and everything, makes it complete legit. We go back, <laughs> dude gets out there with like a, like a B1 stand, goes up to the intake of the flight deck, puts his little uh, goggles on and the face shield and lock suit, and he just starts spraying this thing into the intake. Of- wait, wait, okay. So let me ask you a question, Re- like before you, before you end. Uh, like what type of tech data did you give him to use? Were you like, you, uh, you got to use this because he's obviously going through his servicing manual trying to find it, right? So we had we Air had, Force and Bagram in 2013. They didn't use all tech data. It's oh. kind of like a written rule when you're deployed. <laughs> you know, it's it's not so much like uh, follow the TO. It's like get it done so we can do our next mission because people might be dying and. Oh. We have mass casualties, and we have, like, a flying hospital set up, too. So I was like, get done. So dude's out there. I'm like, dude, you're fine. We rarely do this. It's like a depot level thing. Like, there's really no TO for this. So he just starts spraying into the intake. Get the dash six out. You got to look in the dash six. It's in there. (laughs) Starts spraying into the intake. And our pro super drives out in his little Ford Ranger. He comes out, and he's like, what the hell is he doing? He's servicing the Freon. He's like, Rhino, that's not a fucking thing. I was like, well, he doesn't know that. I just wanted to see how long we can get. Yes. We, we can do best. this. And he's like, so you've been fucking around, not doing the inspection. I was like, no, no, no. There's other people out here doing the inspection. We're good. I was like, but this has been going on for like two hours. Holy shit. Jesus fuck. <laughs> and it, he sat out there the whole time with that bottle. And I was like. I was like, good job, dude. I, th- I think it's working now. We'll have to do an injury run and test it and all that stuff. And he's like, sweet. Can I sign it off on the forums? And I was like, I know how you're going to sign it off, dude. It's not a thing. You telling me the past two hours I've been dicking around, going all over the flight line. You guys just been fucking with me. I'm like, yeah, huh. you're, damn, you're damn right we have. That's exactly you fucking made me do doing. something. Huh. Man, you guys are never going to stop pulling pranks on me. Yes. Mean, you keep falling for it, man. It's so the best. We're just going to keep going. Is that, is that... I think the best we've done is like four pranks on one guy. So we did like the NDI of his boots, uh, which was legit because we took down the NDI. They fucking tore the the you know rubber off, uh, marked the crack, and then they sent him down to Metal Stack. The Metal Stack fucking put a little bead on it with their welder, so he comes oh, back shit. with all the tags and shit. Um, we got him like half a day. 
searching for uh, a yard of flight line. And then we got him with the Classic. PSI gauge. Classic. Classic. Um, and then the last one, when we got in trouble, we scheduled him for a mammogram. And he uh, had no idea what it was and showed up to the hospital. You know, <laughs> that woman's health. and Damn, man. I hope you're here to report what a, for my what mammogram. A, what a gullible bastard. Yeah, uh, he was a fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> what a so, gullible motherfucker. He's a uh, fucking idiot. Outside of Little Rock, we, there was a like a seafood place called Captain D's. Nuts. Oh, Captain right? D's. <laughs> yeah. Place is bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? So I got my new airman. I was like, hey, man, uh, Captain D's uh, told, called, just called earlier while you were on the line something about uh, you got orders somewhere. So you need to call Captain D's and ask about your order. And he was like, oh, shit, do you have the number? So I was like, yeah, it's right here. So he calls it up, and, of course, dude on the other line, you know, taking the to-go order is like, thanks for calling Captain D's. How can I help you? And he's like, yeah, um, my sergeant told me to call um, about some orders. And he's like, yeah, what do you want to order? He's like, I don't know. They told me Captain D's had my orders, and I was supposed to call. And the guy's like, yeah, what do you want to order? Yes. You tell me. They told me to tell, call you that I, I had orders. And he's like, dude, what do, you, what do you want? You want like a basket of shrimp? Do you want some fish and chips? Like, what do you want? And he was like, <laughs> give me some of that cod. What are you talking about? And he's like, this is a seafood restaurant, dude. That three piece with the French fries. Oh, he, yeah, just like, he just like looked at us and he was like, hush puppies. That's not cool, guys. Why would you that's, do that? That's not cool. By the way. I got a shrimp basket and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he better order something. Right. Uh, the, the guy in the other line was just kind of like, all right, well, thanks for calling, man. Just hung up thanks. the phone. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Uh, there was actually a couple times where this happened. There was a security forces where they'd sit on the flight line by the ECP. And, you know, us crew chiefs, when we're up to no good, uh, we had a team go over there essentially, right? Uh, myself and a couple other people go up to the go up to the cop and distract him. You know, start talking to him, like being like, "Oh, hey, what's up? Yo, what are you guys doing?" Blah blah blah, shooting the shit. While we had two others crawl up underneath his truck with the longer zip ties, and then just fucking wrap him around his uh his uh <clears throat> drive shaft. We we did that before, and so got to use the metal ones. So while well, we only had the plastic ones, you know, AETC, whatever. That's low so, budget, low budget, you know, <laughs> so Scraps. they wrap the, yeah, they wrap the fucking, uh, driveline with these. And once they were done, so we all, we all fucking walked away we were waiting for him to drive off. So he starts to drive and you see him just like start to freak out because of the noise. Right. So he's like, Oh fuck, what's going on? So he stops, he gets out, kind of does that whole like hand on the hips and starts looking at it. Like going, oh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Maybe I fucked it up. So starts driving it again. And uh, then you see him on his radio. He starts calling somebody. And you, you got two other two other trucks that end up over there. They're looking at the thing. And they start it up and they drive it. And then they back it up a little bit. They're like, oh, I don't, we don't know what the fuck is going on. And we're obviously over at the box underneath the sunshades fucking dying. And it gets even better when they bring a tow truck out to pick the to pick the truck up because they still don't know what the fuck is wrong and they don't want to fuck it up even more. Uh, I don't know if they ever realized. We never heard anything about it, but it was funny seeing the seeing the uh, truck up on a flatbed fucking running off. And uh, if you guys, <laughs> if those of us who are a part of it yes. remember it, I well, hope I'm you're mean, laughing. I wasn't a part of yours, but I. Uh... We did no, that the to people, our other crew. The people listening, I hope the people listening remember. We did that to our other crew chief uh, truck. Yes. They've tied it. We also took all the – so we used to have the little red metal toolboxes, and we stacked them all the way up and wedged it from the bottom of the uh, floor to the ceiling. In so the lunch truck? In, yeah, in the lunch truck, yeah. In the roach coach. The roach <laughs> coach. There's burritos in the toolbox. No, I think it was taco day. I can't remember. <laughs> We did. We hooked the. Uh, we had a dumbass expediter. Uh, when I first came in, he was at nine thousand at all times. He was fucking crazy. Just a pinger. Fastest pinger. cigarette ping, 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 smoker ping, 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 ping. I've ever seen in my life. 
like two drags he'd smoke the whole cigarette and then he'd get back to the truck let's go call ass out was he always yelling like yeah, two always, two always, always. One, yelling, two. At the, yelling at the visor the whole nine he was fucking crazy we had a commander so, uh, that was like that he would be out the smoke pit with his coffee cup and he'd just see if you came out there he'd just look at you and be like, like shake it no he'd just be like how are you doing and he would wink he'd smile and then he'd take a drink so he was known as wink smile coffee cup <laughs> smile coffee cup yeah wink, smile coffee cup every time <laughs> now we took a. he went somewhere like parked his truck so we wired up the horn to his brakes oh, so every shit. time he hit the brakes Fucking horn yes. went off. Dude, <laughs> That's the best. Was losing his mind. It's fucking yeah. hilarious. Dude. And then we worked uh, at 12 on a Friday. He said, fuck oh. y'all. That's the best. Yeah. That's the best. Uh, there Dickle. was, we were at TDY, the one TDY that I went on. Is that uh, when the kokanee was flowing, bro? Bro. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll, say it, I'll say it like this, dude. Okay. So we went to TDY. We were in Canada. Okay. And uh, while our expediter had his truck parked, Jello shots all, and titties, bro. Sorry. We took all the uh, all the paper assholes, you know, from the the hole punch. We took yeah. all the paper assholes and put them in the air conditioning. And so when he fucking turned on the air co- or the heater the next morning, bro, fucking paper assholes went everywhere. He was pissed. He was yelling at me the whole time. From the hotel to the uh, to the uh, airport, and he made me walk for the rest of the day because he thought it was just me. Nobody else fessed up, and everybody else was like, "Oh, oh, fucking red, fucking doing pranks and shit like that." And then he made me walk, made me drag my six, made me drag my sixty, and all that shit. Didn't bring out my box tasty, nothing. Did you do it? I did. <laughs> bad boy <laughs> i did For, it was a, it was a few words in that whole story if uh you were not in the air force was that we stay in hotels when we go to dy not motels hotels. or holiday inns or hotels. holiday inn yes <laughs> at least four star with room service yeah i'm just and saying he, the, the, the best one i stayed in was at the four seasons in fort walton beach on the beach Ooh, that's like a, a good month. one that's a really yeah. good one yeah it was nice we're like two weeks at Caesars in Vegas. Damn. Uh, actually, I like, like the, the guard guys always stayed at uh, New York, New York when we were at Red Flag. I like being in hotels as a contractor a little better. Um, like when I worked for, uh, should I just say the company? Can I say the company? Or? Space Force. I mean, and unless company, it's not it's public, like, there's companies. Battlestar yeah. Galactica. Uh, when I okay, so That's I worked for a company, and I had to go out of one country into another. For uh, I had to go out of one country to Dubai for a few days for a visa reset. And holy shit, bro! That hotel was it looked like an apartment. It cost uh, the company two hundred fifty a night. There was three bedrooms, Jesus. fucking a full size kitchen, full size living room, two balconies. It was ginormous. And it was cheap as fuck. And it was awesome. And I could see the sea. I was right there on the on the fucking yeah. Right at the sea, and I could see the the palm tree sand. The you know the palm tree deal that they built out there. You know it what was, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I've seen, yeah, the ocean. yeah. I've seen pictures. Oh, it was an epic hotel, the best one I've ever been to in my in my life. Which it one definitely... was it? Huh? Which one was it? Uh, I think it was. Was it the it was, Dirk, a, it was a Marriott Dirk, Dirk Inn? Uh, Marriott at the. It was the Lisin uh, but he come stay hotel. Marriott at the. JW Marriott, the big one. Well, not not the biggest one, but. The it was, Burj it was, Khalif. It was, no, it wasn't that one. It was a Marriott though, and it was fucking rad, bro. And then the the meals there, thirty nine bucks for a five course that the fucking, uh, chef brought out, every single. Every it's single really, part. It's really not too bad for a five course. Thirty nine bad at all. I had to pay seventy five dollars yeah. for a little fillet mignon at Caesar's Bro, Palace. It was so good. It's just so Dubai. If you ever get a chance to go to Dubai, although the buffet do it. at the Bellagio worth it. Bellagio buffet is bomb. Yeah. I think I think that if you go to TDY 
you have to go to like a strip club that has a buffet and try one of those buffets. So the library in Vegas? Yeah. But the crabs are the crabs are different at the strip clubs with buffets. <laughs> the steam crabs, you don't want to touch those. Yeah. And you don't no, want to yeah. <laughs> they stay watch, with you forever. Steam watch crabs those, and sweaty clams. Watch those fish fillets too. But everything else, if they serve breakfast there, definitely go there. Chicken and waffles. At yeah, a strip nothing club. says sexy like Try a it. Tuesday breakfast at a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. The old I, strip clubs. I will, I will say it, it is nicer like when you go TDY, like when you're an NCO, because you kind of get your own room where the, the airmen are like stacked up in there. That, like a trash hauler thing? Yeah. No, we did we it were, on fighters. We were double bunked like a motherfucker every TDY we went. Double nope. bunked. Double bro. bunked. Nope. Double I bunked. That. I heard about people fucking pissing and shitting in uh in nightstands in hotels at like Key West because they were too fucking wasted oh, to go anywhere. Speaking, okay. we may have done an upper decker hold up, hold up. in speaking the hotel that, in Anchorage. I, I told somebody uh at work that I would mention this, but where we work currently, somebody that's still here takes shits in the mop buckets. Like, couple, I, yes, the people yes. that are there, I, I, it doesn't even surprise me. <clears throat> like, wait, okay, so we have a random shitter. Yes, I call him the Phantom Pooper, but he literally shits in the mop buckets in the hangers where we clean. Oh no way! Yes, I, dude, it's it's also not as bad as when you go take a shit, and then somebody's in the stall next to you eating Subway. And it's on the floor. Oh, I know who that one is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that's and, the and, and you're just blowing fuck. it up, and he's just <sighs> grabbing his sandwich off the floor. I mean, it, it's on the wrapper. I mean, he's just there's break room. I guess so. Still, even even if it was that, uh, no, yeah, no, no consumption of food or there's like food, and I hate water. Okay, or fucking anything in in the shitter. I know that people are Especially bored. Those. Like I know that people are bored on the shitter, but I don't think your phone should be in there too. Somebody cause... somebody told me that that he that that person does that and I was just like there's no way until I, I experienced it. I don't think your phone should be in the shitter with you either because you have it up by your face later. Do you clean the screen when you wash your hands? Yeah, but you not take a shit at home with your phone? No. How else do you watch Pornhub at work? Yeah. No. What do you do while you're sitting on the shitter? Yeah. You just read the shampoo. I fucking... I get my shit done and then I'm out, bro. No, no, it's horrendous. Yeah. No, dude. Do you wash you your fucking phone. phone? Do you clean your phone? Yeah. No, you don't. No, I don't. You're a fucking liar. No, no, you don't. We're, you got pre- shit particles all over that shit. Yeah. What's and you different got it up on your face? Taking a shit with your phone or licking some butthole on a. I mean, yeah. I guess it's like eating ass. So I mean, yeah. It's the same. It's just your ass. It's so the it's same. Clean. It's the same. Yeah. yeah. It's fresh. It's better. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's better. You don't have to fart tongue somebody's you know, or fart tongue. Yeah. You have to tongue punch tongue somebody's punch? fart tongue punch somebody's fart box. You just tongue punch I, your own. I tongue still can't the talk. Shit ditch. Episode four. I still can't talk. Yeah. My tongue's still numb. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus. Yes. No, dude. Okay, so there was somebody at Northrop when I worked there. Oh, I just said the company the name. Uh Who when cares? I worked when I worked down in Louisiana oh, at I'm Northrop. Northrop. Um Somebody used to take and put pubes up on top of the urinal, right? That's fucking weird, right? They used to take their pubes and put them up on top of the fucking urinal. And then they fucking, the, these, uh, the managers came in and like shut everything down. And like people were putting their fucking pubes up there. And I was like, mine are red. So uh, if they weren't red, I'm out of here. They're like, no, they weren't red. They're, they're black, black. And I'm like, wasn't me. I'm going back to work. So you won't take your phone in the shitter, but you'll pull your pubes out and put them up places? Not me. And, and blame it on other people? <laughs> they weren't red. They were black. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's that's, amazing what a Sharpie can do. Look at yeah. look at the face. Look at the look at the hair up here. It's red. You have fire bush. Fire crotch. All right. I don't know. You look like George Clooney from Oh Brother Where Art Thou with some Dapper Dan in your hair. Dapper Dan. I do put that shit in my hair so I can put my hat on. It's better work. than me looking like an Indian fucking phone telemarketer thank you for calling thank you for calling the best buy how can i help you hey listen i didn't call tech support yet okay 
Well, stand by. Uh, let's see. Talking about pranks here. That was another prank. Let me think of it. There's so I got, many. I, I got a radar check one. Oh, let's go with that one. Yeah. Let's hear it. Radar check ones are the best. I should so, have written my shit down. I'm totally unprepared. Yeah, totally see? Unprepared. That's why I grabbed my paper and pen. Well, right. that's what nonners do. Yeah, exactly. Well, good, I'm an honor now. I'm an honor now, too, because I'm a janitor. I'm definitely an honor. We're right all now. nonners now. Yep. But I'm I think I'm the nonnerest of all the nonners. You know what I'm eh, saying? I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, not lately. Do you see what you're just doing? <laughs> do you see what you're just doing? Just brushing yeah. that dirt off his shoulders. From your fucking disgusting beard, because you don't take care of it. Like it is a disgrace. But I do. It, I it oil it every day. I wash it every other day and then oil it. It's as every bad. Day. It's as bad as a dandruff from the other janitor that we work with. Oh. Lightning? Oh. <laughs> Lightning McQueen? Uh, Lightning McQueen? I think there's more snow on them shoulders than there is up here in Tatchby right now. We're both from the, the we're both from the same town. So it could be just that a, makes a lot of sense. A thing. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Anyway, but so the radar. I think thing he listens. Just, uh, I think he listens to this, so he'll probably be like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah. It's the radar. Radar check. Radar check? Yeah. Yeah. Radar Continue. Check. Radar check. So uh what are you looking a, at on your phone right now? Putting on a lock suit, right? So you get the bunny suit on. Yeah. And then you grab suit. two of the rubber buckets, you fill them up halfway full of water, and then you have them walk out to the front of the aircraft. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay. This is what you had someone do, or this is what you would have someone do. No, no, no. We we had someone do it. So okay, on the trash haulers. Yeah. So he's just standing like 180 feet in front of the airplane with buckets. So why don't you put like, no, like 50 don't... feet? So he's almost out oh. in the middle of the taxiway. And okay, and okay on, continue. Uh, I'm sorry, on, I interrupted. On, on day shift, you know everybody's driving around the flight line. You get the QA van, launching like the 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 bang bus. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking at looking looking for you in the back. You know, um, and dude's just standing out there, full bunny suit on. With buckets of water and like his arms spread out like a T. And I was like, hey, dude, just let us know when the water starts boiling so we can turn it off. Stood out there for a good 12, 15 minutes in, you know, 99 degrees, 100% humidity in the south. So the QA rolled up and they were like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're, we're doing a radar check. You, you know, that's not a thing, right? Yeah, sure it is. They got all the cones out. Yeah, well, you have the cones out to let people know you run a radar, but what you're doing is not a thing. Why would What's they do that? Question. Because they're messing with you? Question. Well, that's just kind of messed up. Well, I guess you must be new. Did did he talk like that? Was he was he very, like, super serial talking about it? Or was he like, oh, man, you tricked me. Oh, no. Or was no, he no, like, no, he was, from the airplane? What the no, he was like, oh, he was my pretty, God. He's in front serial. of the airplane. It was pretty serious. Standing there. That's it's the trash loader there. talk. It's because they're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> they're so So there excited. I was standing Do you in not the airplane. See the enjoyment in my eyes every single day I show up to work. I think you love that place. You park as close as you can to the gate. It's your favorite place in the whole world. It pays to have disabled I, veteran plates. That it does. I do too. That's I the park. best kickback from the VA, I think. No joke. Let's, I yeah. park as close as I can because I'm on a motorcycle. So nobody cares about you. Yeah, nobody, nobody does shit. care about. You're not gonna yeah. be on a motorcycle today. Nope. Nope. Uh, what are you gonna get? A Prius? Yes. Nissan Versa. A Prius, so I can smell my own farts while I drive. He's yeah. probably gonna get like a Fiat 500. Mm. No, I think uh, uh, it's like a mid-size a min- SUV. Get a min- fucking Miata. Mid-size SUV. No, I got to put some guitars and stuff uh, to take and then grab some back for band practice and all that shit. You know, so. so a smart car? A Tesla? No. No. None of Suburban. that. You probably wouldn't even fit in the driver's seat. Ah, uh, well, you're probably right. You're probably what? right. In the smart very, car? Very hard. Yeah, I mean, I'll... No. no. Oh, he's frozen. We did put, like, some time. Uh, no, it'll probably be a it's tight. What the fuck? Why is my internet connection unstable? It makes a what Anyhow. the fuck? 
Uh, no, it'll probably be a mid-sized SUV, something or other, you know, that I can jerk off in pretty good. You got to. But you get the lane assist, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's not that hard to jerk off on I-40 when it's dark. No. It's pretty easy. Even when it's daylight. Huh? Even when it's daylight. Even when, Oh, yeah, even when it's daylight. Sometimes you just need a highway pull. You just got to do it. I'm going to try it on my motorcycle at least once. Huh. At least one time. So can we can we talk about the dude that blew his house up from making methamphetamine? Yes. Yes, I want to talk about. I that. want all right some. So preliminary to him blowing his house up, <laughs> right? So you, you go through tech school with this cat, right, and get to your first duty station with the same dude, and dude goes home on leave, right? Whatever. It's like Fourth of July or something, and a bunch of us would hang out. Uh, what, wait, question. On base. Question. How did he talk? Yeah, did he talk like this? No, he, he was. <laughs> oh yeah, he was like that. He talked. I he... don't want to divulge too much information because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's an active case. He talked like Crush, didn't he? Uh... No, no. So <laughs> he, he was. He uh... probably talked like this. Hey there, boys. We're uh. Right here in uh working fi- uh uh working C one thirties like that. Let's just say he was from like the Bears. His uh did he like the Bears and the Bulls? No, his family was from like the Middle East. The so. Bears. <laughs> <laughs> but the he said yeah. Oh not shit. like that. Like mid Middle East where we were at war. So oh. yeah. right, row. So we're sitting there. You know, uh, watching, I think we're watching football or something. And on the news comes across a news story and it said local Little Rock airman fires missile out of truck. No fucking way did it ever <laughs> no say joke. that. And it shows his mug shot. We were Taliban. like, we were like, there's no way this is happening. So, of course, you hit the record on the DVR, right? Because you got to yeah. save it. Yeah. And one of our buddies is at the shop bed or something getting booze or something and it was like dude you gotta come home right like like just drop everything you're doing because the shop we can go back to the shop at at that time they're open like 24 hours you gotta watch this news story sure enough shows his uh shows his mug shot and said he was firing missiles out of his truck turns out that he had his country's or his you know country where he's from flag on his truck and the cops were actually super racist and they were like, "Oh, looks like we got one of them, them dudes from overseas." And it was, just, it was. Those are him very his, polite police officers, right? Well, it was pretty. It was, yeah, it went. More did than he? That. Did they talk just like that though? Were they like, "Look, no, we they were from boogity, 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 boys. We got one of them there seeing people." No, they they were from like West Virginia. <laughs> oh, so oh like boy. brothers and cousins. Yeah. And oh boy, a couple. So, I don't know. Boom, 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 turns boom. out it was just him and his buddy shooting bottle rockets off the in the bed of his truck. Like it was Fourth of July weekend, and they classified it as missiles. So that got dropped. Fast forward like three, four years later, and find out the dudes in custody for security forces in jail on base, and we're like, "What the hell happened?" So finally, it gets leaked out that. He was part of some motorcycle group in Little Rock. It's a bunch of old guys, but they had ties to MC RC. Oh, MC. Yeah. And which oh, is highly one percenters, huh? So the opposite of what yeah. red is. So red is highly, a 99 percenter. Highly illegal in the military to join a group like that mm-hmm. and kept it pretty quiet. They had ties to Hell's Angels. This dude had a crawl space under his house and was like, I'm going to make methamphetamine for the Hell's Angels. Ends up blowing his house up. Oh, he's like the like, real Walter White. Just yeah. He was from Walter the Middle Brown. East. <laughs> Blew his house up. East. Everything. You know, fire department comes out. They find all the equipment under the crawl space that why the house blew up. Was he like out there like, well. So they I turn him totally into the police. Didn't know that was going to happen. I was just but, baking bread. Police no, find out he, no, Mikey Brad. Police find out he's active duty. That. Turns him over to the base for custody. Hell's Angels send a lawyer from like New York mm-hmm. and says, "All right, you're gonna get released tomorrow 
for like a couple days. You're going to go self-admit downtown Little Rock for a drug problem. They can't do any administrative action on you if you self-admit to a drug problem. Dude goes out and does that, gets a general discharge from the military, and he's out. Out clean. No charges. Dang. He's probably got 100% disability, too. Dang. (laughs) Probably. You know, was it in my meth lab blew up? Is that service connected? Listen, I was down there. I wasn't making meth. That wasn't meth in the bathtub, all right? That was bath salts. I don't know what that was, but it was reactive, and it just blew up. Yeah, but I, that, that was a uh, yeah, that was a real thing that happened. That was an epic. Man. Damn, dude. I had a but friend. The only, like, drug one we had was spice. We had like, a oh, whole yeah. spice ring in the We doors. had a whole fucking oh, spice had, thing. Yeah, we had over, spice girls. Like, over here. They had, had like, $650,000 in cash in the dorm room. Damn, dude. They were doing good. So, for a while there, Spice, it, it technically wasn't illegal. It was kind of frowned upon for, for a little while until like they outlawed butt stuff. it. Yeah. Like butt stuff. Like, so, our, com- our commander said, it. hey, if anybody did this in the past, like, just tell us so we can find out where you've got it, blah, blah, blah. And there's no repercussion from it, none of that. So these guys are like, yeah, I did it like three years ago. I did it once. Oh, Commander, Commander recalled us all on the weekend in blues, brought all of them up front, and said they're all being kicked out of the military for doing spice. Oh, my God. And But all of them tested negative and their blood work. They just admitted they did it like a couple of years ago when it, it, there was no regulation that said you couldn't do it. It was just kind of frowned upon. And they still, got the, you die. They, they still got the shaft. Uh, we have this cat, a really good dude, actually. He's a friend of mine still, a uh, really good guy. He had gotten into some issues before, but uh, this, this particular issue kind of pissed me off. He still knows about it, uh, but it's we laugh it off. We're friends now. We're still friends, right? Not after this. Uh, no, no, we we still are, but... Because now this is going out to the world. It pissed me off this fucking day, right? Uh, The day before, it was like Halloween Eve or whatever. Or, yeah. All Hallows Eve? No, it was Halloween night. And I was like, hey, if you need a fucking ride, call me. Tell me. And I'll fucking, I'll get you. Do what I can, right? Because I'm not drinking. I'm just going to be at home, be boring. He rode spider Uh, with you, didn't he? No, I didn't have a motorcycle then. I had a Jeep. But anyways, night goes by. He calls me at fucking, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning. Hey, man, I need a ride. I was like, okay, yeah, where are you at? I'll come get you, bro. He's like, I'm two hours away in this jail cell. I need you to come get me. I was like, you mother. He was in the next province over. He was in the next province over. The, the next county ca- was flowing, bro. <laughs> it was in the next county over in jail. They so I had, to, I had to fucking shave and I had to fucking get my uniform on and then fucking roll out there and pick him up. And I guess what had happened is he rolled his fucking car into oh, in a ditch. He was okay, which was great. That was all I was concerned about was that he was okay. He was in jail, whatever. I don't give a fuck about that. He's my friend. He's out. I got him. I'm not even his supervisor. We're just we're friends, okay? Uh, on the way back, I'm like, dude, you know we got to fucking say something to somebody because if we don't say something now, when the— You're, you're both fucked. When the law enforcement talks about it to, yeah. to people, then we're both going to be fucked. Uh, so I called the flight chiefs and I was like, Hey man, this is what happened. We're on our way back. He gets off the phone. First shirt calls me airman Arn. which by the way, I do not like this first shirt. I don't give a fuck. Just said your last uh, name. Oh yeah. Well, I'll be, I'll bleep it out. Airman Aram- red. Airman red. Name? Huh? What's the shirt's name? Ham. His name's ham. Ham. Ham bone. Ham bone. So he goes, Airman Red, he goes, do not go home. Do not take this airman home. Go straight to the commander. I was like, oh, fuck. Here we here we go. Here we go. Anyways, they ended up, like, harassing him all the time. 
and then he got kicked out with a general discharge because essentially they couldn't discipline him because the uh the county wanted to do the DUI or the you know the rollover essentially right uh so they kicked him out with a general discharge and what's that what's that called they can't uh was it double he got he got away scot free i'll just put it out there he just he got away scot free he hired the same lawyer he had before in another what county were you in that they didn't have situation extradition or whatever uh i don't know i don't remember the county but they wanted the money essentially because you know if he uh he had to pay fines and stuff like that right the fuck is going on you okay over there yeah just burped really loud so coors burps man instead of like uh giving it to the air force because the air force really wanted it i mean they were like holy fuck this dude's in trouble again yes it's our time right (laughs) Yeah, but they can't they can't double get you, especially if it was off site. Right. So they kicked him out with a general discharge. They would go through his room, like random. Go through his room because they heard he had a pistol. But this was before he when he lived off base. Because he lived oh. off base. He lived off base before. And they're like, We know you have a gun in here. And they go through his fucking dorm room like multiple times. Jesus. In in, in weeks, just trying to get this guy. Because they couldn't get him on the on the uh, DUI rollover, we 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 kicked a dude out for failure to adapt because he would not take a shower. No joke, he would show up like they went to his dorm room, and his sheets were like they were like a blue color, but they were black because he would come in like from like changing brakes and like hydraulic fluid. He he would he would never shower. It got to a point where an NCO had to watch him take a shower, get in the shower, put soap in his hand, have him reach his hand out, put soap in his hand, and make him fucking take a shower at work. They had a meet then gate. take him the to the laundromat, take him to the laundromat on base, and make him wash his fucking clothes. This this is a twenty year old kid. Yeah, but we had, a, we had a kid mountain home that probably needed yeah, that. The thing is, though, is like put yourself. Take yourself out of your own thing, right? Maybe he wasn't taught how to do that kind of. No, stuff, no, right? he was. He just he just admitted that he's like, oh, I just didn't he's feel just like taking like a shower. Lazy. He's yeah, lazy. He was. Isn't one of them hippie guys that don't take a shower? They don't wear deodorant. No, nah, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, failure failure to adapt to military life. Military we had standards. a when I was a contractor, we had a middle aged dude. I th- he was like had to be in his fifties, Avi guy, who was uh who didn't shower. I was his fucking roommate in the desert too, which was the worst part. I was a fucking roommate. Oh, so you just smelled that the whole time. Dunk like a motherfucker. I was shooting like, uh, Febreze over the top of the wall lockers. And then stick ups and all this shit, you know, just putting air freshener in there. Uh, it was better. Fuck you, Mike. I don't know what you guys are laughing about. <laughs> you mean fab? <laughs> yeah. Fab. I don't know what you guys are laughing about over there, but, it was better to roll by the poop pond with the windows down than it was to smell this dude. Cause he would, he would sit out in the back of the fucking uh, dorms and just sit there and smoke cigarettes all night. Fucking smell like sweat. And then when we would recover an aircraft, the, the desert wind was blowing on you. Oh yeah. You'd just be like, huh, uh, huh. you know what I mean? It was, it was pretty gross. That was my first experience at the poop pond. You know the poop pond's got a like a four point eight rating on Google Maps. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, a must must a must see if you're uh, it's, you know vacationing is, out there. It tourist. is hard to it's a uh, tourist attraction. It's hard. It's hard to like zoom in on Bagram after like what happened. It's like, dude, spent all that time out there, and now it's all shit. I got some pictures of it. What happened out oh, there? That was, they don't show pictures. No, no, just the way that we withdrew. Oh, from all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So just like guys that were out there is like, what the fuck, man? I thought you were like in the middle of the taxiway, like butt naked doing a radar check, so they had to block it. Yeah, or oh, like yeah. they caught you jerking it with the door open in one of the porta shitters. Working and jerking. No. 
Because, I mean, you had to get some airflow in there, dude. Maybe you once. Know. I don't like, know. Okay. Yeah, it helps move the air around. I, I mean, I shit with the door open a couple of times in one of those just because of it was so fucking hot. Yeah, no, I will agree on that. Best time of shit is at nighttime, but then it was like every every time I got to take a shit, here comes the fucking IDF alarm. And you're just, it's just ring, sitting in there ring, like a ring, screen. ring. We ran yeah. once. We did it one time. After that, fuck it. We were sitting on top of the jet one time up there and uh, just sitting on the engine hops, just bullshitting. And uh, we hear this sound buzz by our head. And then maybe like 150 feet behind the jet, like where the road's at from like the apron. Fuck shit just pops the fuck off. We're like, what the fuck? We thought it was the minefield because they had the minefield sitting back there. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No alarm. No. No, nothing. Like we had a pro super come up and go, what the fuck did you guys do? I don't know what the hell that was. Yes. They shot a fucking mortar at us. And it like cleared the jet probably by like 200 feet and then landed right behind us. Which was That's epic. fucking crazy. Bro. Yeah, that was good times. I remember being on on the other side of Bagram near the Delta ramp. All four engines spun up, doing an engine run, like a ground run. And we we're like, what is that sound? And does anybody else hear that? And when you're on comms, like especially with a tower, like they don't say like there's an IDF attack. So you're just like, what is all that sound? And then you see everybody like running on the flight line. And you're like, Oh shit! So it's in the middle of the night. We're the only ones out here running engines right now. So we're like a fucking lit up target with all of our lights on. And I was like, "Yeah, we should probably shut down." So you just tea handle all four of them, get out, and walking off the crew door as the as the props were like just spinning down. And it was like the nerve of the chief to come out and be like, "Did you guys just walk off that aircraft, dude? We're getting attacked." I don't want to be in that aircraft with a mortar no, or a rocket that flies through it. You know, talking about you that. To shut it down like that. Um, there are emergency procedures, and we are being bombed. So, yeah, I'm gonna fucking leave. Uh, talking about stuff like this, I don't have any experience, obviously, because I was in a, I was in a squadron, squadrons that did the, like the tough, TDYs and tough deployments. But you caught a raccoon. Like, like doing like. Oh, how'd you know about that? Yeah, you told me about it. Oh, yeah, I did. Huh? Talk about That's it. right. That's a good one. Um, uh, no, we did all the hard TDYs and all the all the real difficult stuff. You know, like but they're really hard. Game flyovers, race flyovers, uh, that type of stuff. Like really, really tough. Like doing doing uh, war games with the Navy down in Key West. You know that. Yeah, kind you of didn't. Shit. You didn't deserve the ISAF patch. Hey, listen. It's okay. I'm okay with that. If you serve, you deserve. I'm totally okay with that. Okay. You got the nano uh, patch. The nano. We have. So talking about talking about that stuff. Our <laughs> ja our janitor Never boss. TY. So my boss, that's a, a janitor. Our boss, a Fab, that's a janitor. Uh, Which one? He has the five. The real boss. The real boss. The five. Yeah. Jan our, yeah, he has some good stories like that, like a really good one that he told me. And it's like, holy fuck, bro. Like, oh, is this when they were uh, um, getting overrun? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Crazy. That's, a, that's, that's a, a crazy yeah, story. He needs to talk about that one. That one's fucking crazy. Yeah. It would be very presidential. Think Fear so? Him. Yeah. No. No, I don't. Actually, I don't think so. No. Like when I cut it up and bullshit with them, it's it's very not his no. normal. Yeah, I just thought about it that way. Yeah, he's got a bunch of wild ass stories. Yeah, the yeah, crayon you know eaters out there, crash pandas. I, don't know, I almost got kicked out three days before graduation. We went but, fishing uh, down hot Mexico training? Beach. Yeah, from hot training. We went fishing down to Mexico Beach. They're all fucked up down there drinking at night. We went down there to go shark fishing. Caught like a, like a two and a half foot little little shark. Let's fucking barbecue this thing tomorrow. Oh, you barbecued a shark. So, the dude that I was with was like, "Oh, we'll just fill up this cooler." I got he got a big ass igloo in the back of his fucking truck. Filled it up with seawater. Put the shark in the cooler. Filled up two other coolers with water, you know, from the ocean. 
and uh, we're gonna put it in the tub so that a live a live shark. It, yeah, you know we we didn't want it to go bad, <laughs> so we put it in the tub so that way it was fresh. You know, goddamn fighter crew chief. <laughs> uh, this is a it's a Saturday night, so put the shark in the tub. Do our things. Go to bed. Uh, wake up to somebody pounding on the fucking door. So we're like, oh shit, what happened? It's the the fuck MTI guys. Hey, we're here doing a room inspection. You guys need to get up so we can look at everything. Oh shit, dude. Motherfucker. So Pissmate jumps up and realizes it and like kind of goes in the bathroom. He's like, oh, I gotta take shit real quick. Goes in there, closes the door, locks the door. TIs go through all the shit, you know, inspect oh. everything. They're like, oh, you know, it's all right. It's not too bad. You know, we're cutting it up, bullshitting. I was like, right on, man. So we're going to go back to sleep. Oh, no, we got we to gotta check the bathroom before we go. Yeah, I don't think you're going to walk in there after him, man. It, it was a rough night last night. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, now we got to look. It don't matter. You know, we'll, we'll be quick. So we're sitting in there, sitting, sitting, sitting. So about like 15 minutes goes by. Uh, finally, he like comes out of the bathroom because he's like, well, fuck, I don't know what the hell to do. So he comes out and we're standing there and one of the guys walks in the bathroom and all you hear is what the fuck? So he, he has got a goddamn like, fucking shark in the tub. You didn't close the shower fuck. curtain, dude? Yeah, the shower Should curtain was closed. closed. Oh shit. But he opened the shower curtain to look for fucking red pubes from from you. The fucking sharks and, uh, moving. Yeah, it was a fuck. The dude flipped the fuck out. Um Do you remember what room it was? No. On what side? What side uh, was it? Well, fuck, I don't know. Like standing where? Like on the in inboard of the quad or on the on the outside? In the inside. Oh, okay. Second floor. Up top up on top. Yeah. We were probably oh, four or five rooms down from the day room. You remember we used to call that the Quadjex. You remember that? Yeah, the Quadjex. Yep. Quadjex. Yeah. That's a fun out. Where was this at? Tyndall. 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 There's some fuck wild shit going on in the Quadjex. So the Quadjex is where yeah, the where the wild shit dude, uh doing it was better All than right, spring break. The, finish your, sh- finish your things shark. Are? Finish your shark shit. Yeah. Oh no. So we go down. You know, he, we have to get the shark out of the tub. So get the shark out. Put it in the cooler. Put up with some water. Take the cooler downstairs. Uh, we go over to the office, and he, you know, tells us like, "Yeah, you guys are fucked. I'm writing you guys article 15, doing all this. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Give me a 341. Like, Give me a 341. Dude, it's fucking wild." So he was in there for like an hour and we're sitting there waiting, 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 just sweating. We're like, fuck, we're fucked. Like three days out from graduating. Like we're gonna be here for six fucking months. And then uh he comes out of his office, he's like, I gotta leave. The other guy's coming over right now. Um, he'll handle the rest of it. The other guy's po dunk. Corn fed fucking oh, shit. Straight hillbilly. And uh he walks in, he's like did y'all catch a motherfucking shark? I'm like, yeah, we're going to barbecue it. He's like, huh. All right. I'm going to go get some beer. I'll come back. Y'all better save me some. Hell yeah. But cut us out scot-free. Fucking butcher yes. that fucker up. Filet it. Threw it on the barbecue. Right there in the middle of Quadrix. That fucking junky-ass was... barbecue in the middle. Uh, yeah. I made so many steaks and so many, uh, uh, so much food on that thing. I don't even think I cleaned it. I think I, think I was I, just like I think I pissed in it one time. Oh well, thanks for the flavor, man. I appreciate it. Sterile, that. like the taste. <laughs> Sterile. Uh, living across, living across the way from those from the uh, uh, tech school students, uh, they would always do dorm raids like that, and you'd see them bring out baskets of like dildos and pocket pussies. And alcohol and just, I mean, like, baskets full of them, multiple baskets. And then it was fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a. F- the quadjects were filled with wild shit. On the permanent party side, like, every night. And it was, it would come out of both. It would come out of the male and the female. So the males were over here. The females were over here. Yeah. You get dildos that would come. Dildos would come out of the male rooms, too. Weird. But well, they did. Dildos. Well, yeah. Uh, pocket Everybody pussies, a thing. lot of pocket pussies. Like they were Which probably sharing. Odd, they were a, probably sharing them because it was like Project Blue Mountain was, State. Projects was a wild time. Yeah, a lot of loose up, women in the projects. They put them up in the uh, 
the roof tile. Yeah, but they never went over to <laughs> like the the dorm hose. You know what I mean? They never went over there to to mess with them. So, you know, the old barracks bunnies. Because they were green yeah. belters. Yeah, they were green belters, so it didn't fuck with them, right? But uh, yeah, there was an awful lot. I wonder what the MTIs did with them. They probably took them home, tested them out. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Baby, I'm they weren't really, M- this they were really MTIs. Fucking you with my taps on. They were. Uh, they were MTIs at MTLs, failed, so they became MTLs. MTL, MTLs. MTLs. I'm yeah. sorry, MTLs. Either way, that's right. Fucking sorry, boy. sorry, Cavs. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Cavs was like yeah. a blue rope though, wasn't he? No, I don't think he got blue rope. He's legit though. He would scare me if he put those fucking taps it's, on. It's it's hard. It's hard to see him as a TI. It's very hard, like, to especially see how, how like very. how personable he is. Yeah. Now. And then he's very like, quiet, you... like not aggressive at he's all. So calm. He's very, he's very calm. Probably yeah. fuck somebody's life. Probably, cool. Yeah. He's oh man. He's he probably killed somebody in the chow hall. Shit. He probably <laughs> fucked that dorm room up so bad, bro. Going in at three a.m. flipping their shit like. The fuck, chicks were the worst. Uh, the like, female had, TIs. I had crew chiefs as TIs. Oh, yeah. I didn't have. We we had a senior master and I would walk around, and even the our TIs that were in our squadron were scared of her. Yeah, I would, we had one. We used to call her Debo. She was like five two, like black chick. This was just mean. He'd be walking by, and she'd be walking by. And she'd, what are you looking at? God damn it, lady! Oh shit! Like fuck, Christ! Shit, dude. Yeah, she was. I remember. She was gnarly. I remember standing out because uh, I always loved being. I, I loved being the chow. Oh, runner chow runner story our, here. <laughs> our, this one's a good our, one. Our bro- our brother flight, their chow runner always fucked up so whenever we were like we were lined up together and i was like dude you can go first because i would peek around the corner and i would see the senior mass sergeant the female up there at the snake pit and i'd be like dude, you can go ahead i got one after this. and he's like are you sure we can eat first and i was like yeah man go go ahead every time there was a female he'd call her sir oh shit every time like That's the whole good. time at basic the whole time never once got it right and he would so walk around consistent. the corner all like Oh, th- thanks, man. Thanks for letting us go first. And he'd walk around the corner and he'd see her and he'd be like, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Try and hide. Oh, man. Try and ma'am, hide. Ma'am. 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 And ma'am. Try, ma'am. Ma'am. Literally. Ch- ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to ride out my palm. Ma'am. Ma'am. He'd get up ma'am, there and, ma'am. And she knew it too. So he'd be, he'd walk up there and she'd be like, what the fuck do you want? And he'd be like, sir, trainee. She'd be like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and he'd have to go all the way back around and you Best. can hear him open the door. You can hear his brother like, like Are you fucking serious, dude? <laughs> like, fuck, I did it again. Every time. <laughs> fuck, I did it the again. The best chow runner one we had. Um it was early as fuck. It was like two, three o'clock in the morning. And uh RTI walks into the, the dorm room. One of our guys is in the shower, like singing. Just all by himself, just jamming out. So he's like, Oh, you want to fucking sing? Like you're gonna be a chow runner and you're gonna sing to us all before your flight can sit down to eat. Oh shit. So he fucking walks in, and we're all kind of standing right there so we could see. Stands there, reports, does the whole thing, and he's like, oh, you're the singer. Somebody says, I was like, oh, yes, sir, blah, blah, whatever. He's like, you're going to sing. Sing us a song. Just pick a song. This motherfucker belts out, shot through the heart, like standing on tables and chairs. It puts on a whole ass fucking performance. All of them dudes were dying laughing. It was fucking hilarious. That was like the, the highlight of... Our bullshit basic training. I had a uh, in basic. I was a a clown. Yeah, like I still am. Just yeah. I fucked right around. There, don't care. I fucked around a lot. Uh, and so I would sit in the back and talk about like penguin nipples, and just making fun of <laughs> making fun of the flight yes. flight mates, making fun of flight mates and shit like that. And I was going up. I was going to leave the fucking. Chow Hall and my T.I. stops me. He goes, all right, all right, don't you move. I'm like, okay, I'll oh, fuck, I'm fucked. He's like, I heard you have impressions of your flatmates. See these fucking T.I.s right here? I want you to make them laugh, and they better all laugh, or you're getting on your face. I, was like, I don't I don't remember the, the impressions. It would be better if it was, because that was fucking 20 years I, ago. My name is Trainee Arn. Like totally, hey. hey, Trainee Red. My name is Trainee Red. North Dad. Atlantic Current to fucking Whoa. San Antonio. Uh, I can't yeah, do I don't remember the. It's been twenty years, so I don't remember the fucking 
what the fuck the impressions were would be even better. So, but I remember I was shitting my britches, shit my pants right there, having to make T.I.'s laugh. Uh, and it happened on, on a couple of occasions just because I think they just wanted to point fun at me or I don't, yeah. I don't know. They have, they gotta have a mm-hmm. miserable fucking life while they're there. No joke. I, I don't, I don't know. I can do that but, shit. So, one day we were outside, and you know, you know, the chow hunters wait up against the wall, and your brother, flight, for your flights are just, yeah, your brother, your flights are just sitting out there, and in the three twenty six, there was a bunch of pigeons under oh, the dorm no. thing, right? And so these pigeons, and you can't move, right? So you're trying to like hold your military bearing. And the pigeons What's would come that? down and like land land on your head and like land on your shoulders, just fly around all, all kinds of crazy stuff. And our brother flight CI came over and he was like, What are those birds doing? And you're just like looking around, like, is he serious? Like, do do I answer him? And he'd be like, uh, sir, trainee, you know, Rhino reports is ordered. Uh, they're flying. No shit, they're fucking flying, but what are they doing? It's like I don't. What, what do you want me? To, I don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> so I just looked at him. I was like, and he's like, you're no fun. Okay, like that was your whole. Did that make your day? Like, well, Jesus I, Christ, I guess dude. they have that going for him. Yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. He sounds are fun. You, are you happy? He sounds. Are you happy super now? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I couldn't do that fucking shit. No way. I had fun and basic. I had fun and basic because I didn't have to do anything. I got fired from uh from You the, were in the band flight, so no, no, I was in the uh knights from the three twenty fourth. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was a I think it was the three twentieth. Yeah, I was in the three twenty fourth. That was three two six. Three two six. From our TI, Sergeant Watt. We had chick TI banging Bulldogs. Which is bad. I had uh an F sixteen crew chief. Did for you a have brother flight uh, TI and then a KC-135 crew chief for my TI. And they were both, like, did, very salty. Did, did you have the female TI that was in Playboy? No. No, oh, that she could have been. That was, that was way after me. Her husband was fucking, yeah. her husband was a blue rope, dude. And he was fucking. I think that was way after us. Fucking rock. What, I went in in 05. Massive. Uh, when did you go in, Fat? pretty hot. 03? 03, and you went in when? 2010. 10. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Uh, yeah. So we were still in B. We were still in BDUs, and you were in AB but, carrying around a rubber gun. Yeah. I've been to Bagram twice already. Carry carry around a but rubber cat, rubber gun. Cavs. Ca- I think Cavs went there in 2013, 2014. This is my rifle. This is my gun. It was a rubber remember. one. He told right? me one time when he was there. I remember when we did the ropes course or the obstacle course or whatever. And uh, it was cold out, and they had the you had to do the ranger crawl or like the whatever across the rope the pool, mm-hmm. and we had the uh, the band flight was there with us, <laughs> and it was this little giving, giving you support like go, one go, time go, it was this go, little go, mousy go, girl. Basic. It was this little mousy girl in front of me, and so I'm like ranger crawling across, and she's like hanging upside down. And she froze. She's like, I can't go any farther. And my T.I. looked at me, and he's like, rip her off the rope. And I was like, I don't want to. And I, like, I just shook my head, and he's like, do it. Sir, she's now. a tech sergeant already. So I, I, re- I reach forward, and she's she like looks at me hanging upside down. She's like, don't do it. And I just grab her leg and just flick it off, and she just splashes right at the pool. And I just keep crawling across, and he's like, he's like good job. Good job, trainee. Fuck, I felt so bad. She had to do the rest of like two miles of that obstacle course just soaking wet. Yeah. Uh, whatever, they deserved it. Fuck them. Damn. Damn, you went in 2010 for real? Yeah. So you went in Dang. like you guys had cell phones and like memory phones. You guys, no, you guys could go to the BX. Yeah. You So you had them. Like, excuse me, Airman, would you please? Yes. No, that was after my Sign time. Yes. That was correctly. Hello, Mr. That T.I. was before. Before the scandal, where all the TIs were banging all the girls, yeah, that was before that. Oh, Hello, Mister TI. I'm gonna go to churches so you can fuck yourself and your formation. We 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 had a bunch of dude because you know how they do every religion right on Sunday, so we had a dude who was like straight up Catholic 
but he went to the Wiccan service mm. because they just literally sat in a circle around a tree and they would just go to sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Judy thinking>. uh, <laughs> that's the best. Can't blame him. That's the best. So so a couple of us went one Sunday just to, just to get a couple like 40 min- minutes to an hour sleep. It was glorious. Hell yeah. I feel like a basic training was a joke. I had a good time. It was fun though. It was good. It was fun. The fucking really fun. Warrior Week bullshit. Uh, that's probably yeah. like the best one. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It rained the whole time when we were there. Eating MREs and not shitting for fucking. I didn't. I didn't like having to, to. I didn't like having to explain how my leg hair has gotten my socks and my ti thinking they were pubes, but you know, well, ebbs and fl- had, ebbs and flows. There was, I think, because you know, there's like, like, like twelve. 10 to 12 different flights at that week, you know, cause it's a huge area. And there was like two girls. I got pregnant. One cup. Yeah. All right. We had a chick shit herself walking out of the, uh, like the, whatever the, the gas room thing. The one thing. Oh, the oh, yeah, no she's shit. like coughing, fucking freaking the fuck out. And then, you know, that really, like that really wasn't that bad. Like what the fuck yeah, is wrong dude, with you? I had, I had I two just people in my pants. I had two people in front of me that just froze. Like they would ask him questions and they froze. So we're all sitting in there dying, waiting for these two like females to move in front of us. They're just like, "Ah, ah, I can't do it. It wasn't, I didn't actually, actually, no, it wasn't that bad. It was actually like welcome because you know, you're like sick and you're sniffling all the time. And then you go to that and it clears everything out of your system. It was great. Clears all the farts. I felt amazing after that. That's what all the shots they give you. Yeah. Yeah. Week one clears out yeah. all the shit on you. Yeah, they just we you know what load you up full of stuff, and then it's always that one like weird lady at the end. She's like, "All right, let me see your ass cheeks. So I can stab you full of penicillin." And oh, you're like, "The peanut Great. butter was the worst." That was my dude. Favorite part. Oh my god, I hated it. I hate, that was the worst part. Was the peanut butter? It's supposed to be a yeah. shot. You're not supposed to put it on your balls. Well, no, it felt like fucking peanut butter going into your ass cheek. So our RTI was a dick. When I came to that day, because he kept us up to like, I think we got like 20 minutes of sleep. So, and the chow hall was down. So you had to like walk to a different chow hall. And so everybody's like lightheaded. Everybody's like tired. Everybody's like worn, worn the hell out. So when they're getting, you know, you take your blood or whatever. And I told the guy, I was like, dude, I'm so lightheaded. Like I haven't had anything to eat. Like I've been up for like 30 some hours. I was like, I'm about to pass out. He was like, stop being a baby. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm just going to pass out, and you can just do whatever you want. <laughs> so I wait. I literally pass out because I was so fucking out of it. And I wake up on the floor, and they're just taking my blood and giving me shots while I was passed out. Ooh. I was like, it's cool. Sounds like a couple so of I my stand. Vegas TDYs. Did they give you the silver bullet? <laughs> uh, no, that was later. Yes. Um, the red rock. Please, please do it. But I <laughs> I get up, and he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah. So I go to the lady at the end, and she's like, all right, now I'm going to give you your penicillin shot. I'm like, you couldn't do that when I was passed out? Oh my god, dude! The giant peanut, but it might your your ass cheek hurts for like every can't sit down. Yep. I can still I can still feel it sometimes. Worst. That's Are you sure that's penicillin? that's not penicillin. No, <laughs> no, dude, it's right there. I can still feel it sometimes. That's why it's they call it Bangkok, honey. It's uh, uh, yeah. No, you know you. We've been doing this for almost two hours, right? Are you fucking serious? Is it really? It's almost no. Noon. Get yeah, the fuck out of here. It's, yeah. it's almost noon. We started at like eleven, didn't we? Uh, ten forty-five. Well, I mean, we got on at ten fifteen, so we've been yeah. on here. Yeah, but I had to find headphones and figure out the yeah. computer. Yeah. Jerk off real quick. Well, you know, I think it's. Well, let's uh, gotta, let's, 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 let's 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 close it out. I think it's been a really good episode. Um, first, yeah. First off, uh, this was a great episode. Appreciate you guys coming on. As always, love talking to you guys. I mean, you bitches, you're ugly. You're ugly, but you know, I'd fuck me. I'd. <laughs> I fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I should have worn, uh, worn my. So your Mary sleep, sleep kill. Seven. That was one of the, uh, like, Mary sleep kill ones. Yeah. It was. Uh, I can't remember who it was. It was one of the Kerosene. guys from the sixty seventh. It was while we were at Kadena. And then it was. Uh, fuck. Who was the other one? It was like Robert De Niro or some shit. Or it was me with my shirt off, rubbing my nipples, saying, "Yeah, I'd fuck me." Oh yeah, okay. Biff. So Biff picked Mary... me had to hide from him. Hell yeah! I don't know if he's <laughs> yeah. or not, but get that petrolatum out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, f- you know, but for real, back to it. Yeah, thanks for listening. Thank you for everybody, everybody, everybody who's liked, shared, subscribed. Please keep doing it. Follow. Except for that support guy. Yeah. He gives us good suggestions now and again, but he's good you know, fu- he knows. fuck support. No, he's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Um, <laughs> I just like fucking with him all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, but keep keep doing it. It's on every. It's on everywhere. It's SoundCloud. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're thinking about doing a TikTok. We're fucking. TikTok-y. We're gonna be. We're everywhere. So all you gotta do is look for us, support us, please. Like, thank comment, you. share. Yes. Do all the things. It, and then. It ex- when, exploded quickly. When we get to a thousand, uh, a thousand subscribers or a thousand followers, Red's Mike will do the podcast with no shirt on. I, I'm sorry, Fab. We'll do a nipple reveal. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. One. I'm it's only it. gonna be one though. Just it's one? only gonna be one. But it, just one. But it has to be. It has to be like from the cable guy, where he's. It's like I'm here for you, and just just one the window nipple reveal. Yeah, well, I'm gonna like, have to get a gonna, webcam for that. You're one, gonna so cut. You're, you're gonna cut part yeah. of a shirt off and only have one nipples out of my shirt. No, only one nipple, because there'll be one nipple reveal. So two thousand, I get to two nipples. Yes. Round. No, at two thousand, I'll I do still my. Think we, should, my uh, we should do our first live stream all together on on Chatterbait. That would be a good one. <laughs> you know these girls doing webcams, and there's just a bunch of dudes doing a podcast. Still been that. Have to, after this is over, I might have to look that one up. Yeah, look up Chatterbait. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Cougar. Cougars in your area. Hell hot yeah. Dudes with, hot dudes <laughs> with tight Black pants. Panthers. Hot dudes with tight pants in your area. Want to talk to you. But uh, I think uh, I think Red was talking about a uh, uh, keys to the jet only fans soon. Yes. No, I was talking about feet finder. Uh, it was oh, it was that's Fab right. that was okay. talking about the only fans. Was the or, reverse or only Patre- fans. or Patreon? You could, oh yeah, uh, Patreon would be know. really good. We should do that one. Yeah. Give some people so some content. Some of our ideas were to get the old launch truck, expediter truck, and put a casting couch in the back and do an episode in the back of a crew chief truck. Ooh, that would be fun. Yes. Buy one off of a government auction. That'll be the know? first post on my OnlyFans. It's uh, Barry McCock in her. Hell Look yeah, it up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, send us off with the uh, veteran stuff there, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So our our organization of today is twenty two to zero, and what they are is a organization that helps with PTSD coaching. They say PTSD is just an injury, but it can also be healed. So their goal in the resiliency coaching program training is to use no details about the traumatic incidents or the extreme negative emotions and avoid talking about the events. Details just get in the way of the brain's natural ability to heal itself. They do have counselors that will refer clients when necessary, if needed, depending on severity. But they also deal with over, I think it's been over a bunch of people. I think it's over like $1.2 million donated. They've saved over 200 plus lives uh, doing this. So it's a great amount of health coach. Yeah, it's uh, a great program. Yeah, feel free to reach them out. 22to0.org is their website. And you can do it anonymously or you can sign up with uh, your name and stuff or however you want to do it. But they have coaches all over the world or all over the U.S. that will help you talk through things. They have group therapy sessions. You can do all kinds of stuff. It is a great website. So please feel free to look out 22 to 0. Or if you want to donate to them, you can donate as well to some of their programs they have for veterans with struggle and PTSD Hell yeah, do it. from previous wars that was stuff do that we it. have. So uh, we've said this from the beginning, at least the three of us, that you know if we do get pretty big and we start, you know, little bit of revenue here and there most some of our proceeds are going to go straight to veteran organizations like 22 to zero or project valhalla or whatever it may be and give back to the veterans that need it more than we do red's wallet that's a good one red's wallet or red's, yeah, red's bank one. account if you guys don't want to call that call hit, hit one of us up it's just dm i'll facetime you we'll drink a beer yeah oh Check out the uh-huh. chatter bait or whatever one more thing we've got a uh discord so instead of sending emails, you guys could fucking sign up to the Discord and then message, uh, send messages and uh, suggestions on uh, what we should talk about next, stories, all that stuff. Please. We're looking for, yep, and, we're, uh, looking for people to, we're looking for people to give us some stuff. You know what I mean? And then real quick uh, for the VA hotline, uh, if you do need that phone number or know people that need that phone number, it is 1-800-698. Why are you laughing, Mike? Two four one one, again one eight hundred 
698-2411. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Somebody's always there to talk and listen. And if you need us, send us a message. All three of us will call you. We'll talk to you. Have a beer virtually or whatever it is. If you're around us, Naked. we'll all meet up. Do a podcast. Yeah. We'll, all, we'll all meet up. We'll do a podcast if it helps you to talk about it, whatever it may be. Naked. Feel free. Duh. I'll bring the beers. That's all I got. Hell yeah. That was good. Thank you. That was really good. Hey. Uh, all right, we out? Yeah, I think we're out. Yeah, so. I think we're out. All right, right motherfuckers. Well, well, Thanks for listening. See you next time. See you. See you. Chalk out, motherfucker. Later. Wait. Wait. Duh. How do I do this here?